Hi, not all burger joints were created equal. With 20 mouth-watering burgers available, all cooked to order using fresh, premium quality ingredients, we're pretty sure you love every last bite. We're located at 320 Packington Street in Newtown, 51 Moorabool Street in Geelong, and for information on the menu, check out burgerinc.com. So come on in, we'd love to feed you. Goes to the top of the square. Grills will fly at the front. Tom there as well. Takes oh, a good strong good 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 Tom to kick his first of the afternoon. Wastes no time. 20 out directly in front. Drives it through to the Port Arlington Road end. And Jason Tom with his first. Or is it Grills? Or Holland, rather. Holland with the kick now. Oh, geez, a push out there on Walker. He's going to take a free kick. Neither of just saw how strong that breeze is. Walker now, he comes in, he'll get very close to the man on the mark as he kicks from 50. Geez, he gets onto it oh, nicely, oh, oh. and he's kicked his second of the afternoon, and Jai Walker providing an option up for to Leopold with the... Oh, selfish. Probably should have done a little bit better there. Now they play on quickly. Grover, a terrible looking kick once again. Turnover again. Here come Leopold. Tormund gives a handball over to Tom. Tom couldn't quite get it. He does now. Has a oh, shot! Oh, no! Oh, you boys, not believe it. The goal of the day right there, boys. Which is all alone. Gee, where's Purton? And Walker cannons into him. The big Walker, James, and Mench. Looks to give off a handball, but decides discretion is the better part of Valor. And we'll go back 45 out from goal and into a teeth of a pretty big well, breeze there to try and kick uh, this. If they can kick this out, boys, mustn't be too strong because he'd be kicking for all these 50. The big minger, David Mench, last year's Co Matheson medal winner. Gee, that's a lovely kick. The coach <laughs> stands <laughs> up. That breeze mustn't be as strong as you think it is, Zed. And David Mench kicks Grovedale's first. As, uh, we're going to have a bit of time on here, boys. And, just, uh, and the big fella score. Aston has just delivered that with a cup of prize for himself, one of them, I reckon. Leopold, 4 6 30 <laughs> on the Vision Australia scoreboard, <laughs> leading Grovedale 1 2 8. So we're going to have a bit of a break in play here, guys. Just uh, looking at this start of this second quarter, boys, you've got to say that Grovedale haven't capitalised on their opportunities going forward. And Leopold coach Aaron Grease will be pretty happy with the way these de back lines held up. I think Dino pointed out before a bit of stuffing around with a handball. With a couple of goal boys, you just want to get the ball in your full line as quick as possible, as they did a couple of times uh, when uh, Mitch tapped the ball to his teammate who uh, managed to uh, kick it behind. It probably should have been a goal, but um, that's just not hitting their targets when they go forward. They should be about, you know, Six or seven goals up at this stage. So it's James Colbert being stretched off the well, ground. Well, the get carried off from the ground, is it, Kingy? Nah, it's terrible. And uh, tell yeah, you what, what if it is, those He's uh, been uh, been one of their best this afternoon across half back, but he will be sadly missed. Hopefully everything is okay, and uh, if his family's listening, we'll try and get you an update on how he's going. As uh, He's been carried from the ground, but he looks to be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, not certain of the extent of the injury, whether he's been knocked Back pocket, uh, plays on and kicks to the other side. I don't know whether that was a very good option. Good punch from behind there by the uh, Leopold player. They're going to get out of trouble here, the uh, Grovedale side. He takes a little bounce. Uh, I'm not sure who that Grovedale player is. Here's a quick handball over to Davenport. He better get on the boot quick. He does. There's a scrubby looking kick, but it might come off. Here's uh, Tom at ground level. Um, trying to uh, get the ball out. Here comes Skinner. Skinner tries to get out of one tackle. He's tackled well there by Davenport. Stacks on the middle now by says I'll bounce. There's a little bit of push and shove going on now. A little bit of uh, angst in this game, boys. Jeez, your skill level. So ordinary king unit grabbed out this stage of the game? Yeah, actually both sides haven't been great with the footy as Primus wins the tap down, coming through Gleason gets a handball to himself, but right comes through, wrapped up in a good tackle. Gee, was it flying tackle they're coming from Eddie rather? Or was it uh that well, no, was Burke rather, sorry. Ball kick forward now for Leopold over the back of the pack. Walker a chance and Larkin coming through. Well big shepherd lay there coming through, coming from bars. Ball now comes back to Larkin, gets a handball, that's probably smart play, gives a handball to Barrett with the glove on, and Barrett goes short looking for a teammate, Graham can't take the mark, cleaning up at the back there for Leopold, was door handball to Skinner, his kick disappointing over the top of his teammate, and Grills tracking it back now, first is Taylor, he can't get a handle on the footy, Grills has done well, he's held the ball up, two in there laying the tackle, Hardy with the footy, it looks like he's got basketball shorts on, those shorts are so big, quick kick forward, all taken high, free kick will be paid, going Leopold's way. Full credit there to Brad Grills. He took it was two against one, and he just fought. Uh, just the, he wanted the ball most. Uh, managed to tackle the ball away from his Gravedale opponent. Spilled free, then got around uh, the other Gravedale there, and it's going to result of that. Uh, Jai Walker having a shot for his third goal. 40 metres out from goal. Jai Walker a chance to kick his third and extend this margin and kick a handy goal into this breeze. Reese and Noni this afternoon predicting it being two or three goals to the Port Arlington Road into the ground. So it's Leopold to the Queenscliff Road end. Walker comes in now. We get close to the man on the mark. Gets onto the kick. Will land in the square. Numbers to fly. Larkham a big punch away towards the boundary line. And we'll have a boundary throw in. 20 metres of Campbell up to Raid Me. Raid Me on the right boot now. Good kick on the lead. Looks like it might have been Burke taking the mark. 
full chested. He's been pretty good. Actually, it was Eddie. He's been not too bad either. Kick disappointing. Ball at ground level. Picked up by Harrison off the hands of Big Walker. Kicks inside. 50 looking for a teammate. There's uh, Meyer with a quick left foot snap on goal. Running towards goal. Graham takes a mark. Runs into an open goal. And that's what Grove Dunn needed against the flow of play. Hayden Graham with the first goal of the third quarter. We have gone just on full. Quite a match of the day. At uh, Memorial Park, uh, up goes uh, the uh, Mench has gone into the centre of the ground. That's an interesting move. You got a quick little handball out to Taylor. Taylor for Grovedale, kick it inside 50. Here comes Meyer again. Nice little handball. Puts his uh, Grovedale player into space. Kick it towards the uh, Grovedale player, and he marks it. And that looks like a is it Devin Eddy? Mm. And Eddy has marked it about what 25 out from goal. Slight angle. Uh, Grovedale uh, could uh, kick their fifth this afternoon. Rain is not far away, boys. Ray's not far away, and uh, there's the weatherman for you, uh, Bruce Sinoni. He's a jack of all trades, this uh, young man. In comes Eddie. Go, gives it a nice little uh, breeze uh, to come around. All these players are running to him. I think he's got the two fingers. He has. Grovedale move on a 5 3, 33. Leopold, 6 8, 44. I think when they had the chance to put the uh, Grovedale side away, they didn't do it. Now, uh, gets out of uh, the uh, uh, Sanaf back area, kicks to the outer side. Eddie was up, couldn't mark it. Handball there by uh, Wright. Gave it to James Walker. Walker gives it the ball to Skinner. Skinner yeah, on the left boot. Kicks it towards uh, Greaves. Greaves marks the ball. 70 out, Leopold, they need a goal. They only lead by 10 points, deep into the third term. Hardy on the lead, goes up, probably could have got a free kick for a push. And that's the way the umpire saw it. It's all the mismatch, Hardy on Martin. Of course, Hardy's got some inches on him, and of course, all Martin could do is give away the free kick. So I think he might be uh, pushing the distance. I don't think he's a very strong kick at goal. So uh, here's Hardy. He does look to pass it off. Who's he going to kick the ball to? He kicks it to no one. It's a turnover. Here comes Mitch. Little handball out to Gleeson. Gleeson uh, dispossessed by the uh, Leopold player. Here comes Lancaster. Oh, has a shot at goal. Great football, young man. He's done well today, Lancaster, and he's kicked his first this afternoon and started to uh, just give Leopold a little bit of breathing space. Yeah, it should be 5-7, actually. Yeah. So 5-7, they trail by 14 points, kick in by Grills. Who's he going to? He's going to the other side. Oh, big walker up. Gee, he hit the ground hard then. That uh, really, he's injured, I think, the big fella. He comes out on his shoulder. Uh, comes out to Davenport for Grovedale. Kick it inside 50. Uh, Grills is giving a little bit of a push and shove. The ball goes over the band line out of bounds for a throw in. They uh, did fix that up at three quarter okay, time. So seven nine, Leopold. Very interesting, this scoreboard now. Uh, the play, we don't want scoreboard confusion. It's happened in the Ballerine this year. Ball back into play. I'll tell you about that in a couple of seconds. As Toolman back of the pack to a teammate there in Hardy, who gives it up there to uh, Perth, Marshall, or Marshall, rather, a quick kick, and finds Gale. So Gale on the halfback flank for Leopold. If they can get an early goal, they will set themselves up for victory this afternoon. His kick forward finds Walker out of side of the ground, and Walker a chance to load up for Leopold. So he, uh, it looks like he's going to load up all right. Uh, Walker's up. Walker is up. He is up, the big boy. He still looks pretty... Uh, he doesn't look good. He doesn't look good. Kick the outer side. Greaves was third in line but couldn't get his hands on it. Uh, handball out the back door by the uh, Grovedale player. He uh, handballed out to Waldron. Waldron kicks it uh, to the outer side wing. Here comes Grills once again. He's starting to lift uh, his uh, momentum uh, in this final term. He's had a few possessions. At Ellsworthy's Retrovision, we're more than just the best price. We'll give you expert advice with a huge range of big brand products. Locally owned and operated in Geelong, Eldsworthy's Retrovision will give you more every time. If it's a big screen TV you're after, or a top brand washer or fridge, we have the best range to choose from. Come into Ellsworthy's today at two big locations, Mirable Street, opposite Skill Stadium in Geelong, or Warren Ponds Homemaker Centre. Eldsworthy's Retrovision.